بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الحبت في الله continuing on in our study of Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi Allah يرحمه his treaties هذه دعوتنا وعقيدتنا this is our call and this is our creed uh, we were speaking about the issue of takfir and we spoke about it in detail in the past two sittings and continuing on further on that on that masala which branches off from that issue is the issue of leaving the prayer and uh, leaving Islam and so we need to look at this uh, and also the issue of ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed and we're going to be very brief and just talk about <clears throat> what uh, Imam Mukbil said which is in accordance with the Salaf of this Ummah so the Imam said The Shaykh said, he said we don't make takfir of a Muslim for sins except for the one who does shirk billah, you know, who associates partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or tarqasat <coughs> or leaving the prayer meaning ceasing to pray or ridda meaning to leave from Islam to uh, leaving Islam and going to another faith or just leaving Islam and then he said and I seek we seek refuge in Allah from uh, we us and you seek refuge in Allah from that meaning from those major sins that take you out of the fold of Islam like leaving the prayer and ridda and just leaving Islam so we discussed about those issues in takfir and with regards to this a very important mas'ala which is one of the issues that you have groups like ISIS and ISIL and IS and Islamic State supposedly as they call themselves and Al-Qaeda and Jamaat Takfir wa Hijra and <coughs> Uh, all these other groups that make takfir of the Muslims and make takfir of all the leaders without, without e exception not looking at their different sta status and condition and whether they're ruling by the Sharia or not or whether they are <coughs> excused or whatever their particular situation but those groups that make takfir of the Muslims one of the things that they, they use as a hujja, and we briefly talked about it, <coughs> is the situation of not ruling by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. And we will very quickly, the Shaykh mentions it in a direct quote from the Shaykh about this issue, so we'll read the Shaykh's quote, and then we'll end the, we'll, we'll, that that will be sufficient for dealing with this issue. The Shaykh said, Rahmatullahi, he said, Wa ayy Shaykh, Islam. يبغون ومن أحسن من الله حكم لقوم يقنون. and Allah subhanahu wa taala says ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الكافرون. the Sheikh said رحمة الله عليه and then we'll continue on with some of the uh, statements he said after that after these ayat he said that anything that goes against Islam we detest it. And, but we do not rule a person to be a disbeliever unless they have made that sin lawful or and, and they are uh, knowledgeable about what they did meaning they didn't do it out of ignorance and uh, with, without being forced to do it and we already mentioned those details in our last uh, lecture about uh, related to takfir so those are also we have the, the sheikh giving some of the shurut uh, for making takfir of ma'ayin. Uh, وَيَرَاءَنَ الْحُكْمِ قَوَانِينَ مِثْلَ حُكْمِ اللَّهِ أَوْ أَحْسِنْ 
uh, or ask him if I have a yet to have a caffeine. So he said that the person who believed, and this is important to see that we understand this about ruling by other than what Allah has revealed, that the person who believes that man-made laws are similar to Allah's law or better than Allah's law, then they are a disbeliever without uh, going into tafsir, without any uh, uh, looking to the left or right for anything else. Khalas. This is the tafsir that the ulama uh, bring, the ulama of Ahl Sunnah, that the one who believes that ruling by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law, uh, believing ruling by <coughs> man made laws and Allah's law is the same, or that it's better <coughs> to rule by uh, man made laws, then this person is a disbeliever. They've left the whole Islam. And then he brought some of the dalil where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, is it the rule of jahiliyyah that you desire? Then what better uh, ruler, a type of rulership or law is, is better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law? And this is, uh, you know, a, a rhetorical question that uh, for, uh, a co for a people that are certain, meaning that if people are certain, that the root uh, uh, these are the mu'mineen, those people who believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law is the only rule to be ruled by, is the best, and there's no comparison with those man-made laws. And then also in Surah Al-Ma'idah, uh, before that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then whoever rules by other than what Allah has revealed, then they are the kafirun, those are the disbelievers. And the Shaykh then goes on to say, وَهَذَا مَرَادْ بِهِ كُفْرَ دُونَ الْكُفْرَ إِلَّا إِذَا كَانَ يَرَى الْقَوَانِينَ أَحْسَنْ مِنْ حُكْمِ اللَّهِ أَوْ مُمَاثِلَ لِحُكْمِ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ عَالَمْ بِهَذَا وَقَالَدْ مُلُوكْ وَالْحُكَّامُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَرُؤُسَاهُمْ جُحَالُ So Shaykh Mubil Rahmatullahi said, and this sums up our discussion, with regarding to rule, uh, ruling by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, he said, in mentioning the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever rules by other than what Allah has revealed, then they are a disbeliever. <coughs> the Imam said, what is meant, this is what is meant by kufr duna kufr, the kufr, the lesser type of kufr, or kufr al askar, the, 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 the minor kufr. Except, unless, if a person sees that ruling by man-made laws is better than Allah's laws or similar to it, or similar to the rulership of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he is aware of this, then of course this person is a disbeliever. And then the Shaykh went on to say, and most of the kings and the rulers of the Muslims and their presidents are ignorant. So the Sheikh was basically saying that most of the rulers are ignorant and they have the excuse of Jahil. So this is the mokif, a movement of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah with regards to this issue in this uh, time and age. And also with regards to this Ahabatifillah, another important uh, issue that comes up and I think we'll reserve that for the next lesson and we'll keep this short. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.